We're back with a sad update to share tonight. Many of you will remember this dachshund named Clyde. His story went viral on social media after he was rescued, found, as you can see, so emaciated. Sadly, he had to be put down because of a host of medical problems. His story led to really impassioned responses from animal lovers in Southeast Texas and from the team at Beaumont Animal Care. Well, today, the owners of Clyde and two other dogs were taken to court to see if they would be stripped of their ownership rights. 12 News reporter Gloria Walker was in the courtroom and has covered this story from day one. Gloria, what can you tell us? Jordan, Letitia, it was an emotional civil hearing this morning. Both sides had people testifying to see whether the animals were better suited in other people's care. It's heartbreaking. Southeast Texas animal lovers are celebrating a major win, but also grieving a heartbreaking loss. Clyde, the severely emaciated dachshund, was rescued from a home back in May, but had to be put down. Animal Protections Officer Carol Hedinger was there the day Clyde and two other dogs were rescued. The animals were living in, in filth and feces. There was debris and stuff all around. Um, and they were covered in fleas. All three animals were taken to Beaumont Animal Care where medical staff evaluated the dogs and noticed Clyde was in really rough shape. He was first presented to me because he was having trouble using the bathroom and we noticed some abnormalities uh, with his rear end. Troubles that they thought would pass with time and care, but his health issues were just too severe. Really having trouble to thrive, not wanting to eat, very lethargic, um, seemed very uncomfortable, having trouble breathing, which we believe was caused from the heart murmur in combination with the heartworms he had as well. Today in court, his owners face a lot of questions about Clyde's condition and the condition of the two surviving dogs. Hedinger believes all of this could have been preventable. There's always an option. Um, utilize the, the people around you. Um, we're here to help. We're not, we're not the enemy. Judge Ben Collins ruled the two surviving dogs remain in the care of Beaumont Animal Care and Clyde's owners could face some serious consequences, but animal advocates will have to provide enough evidence to convince the district attorney something criminal happened. The animal cruelty case is getting the animals out of the situation and that's what we did today. And it is up to Beaumont Animal Care to provide uh, extra evidence for court and the district attorney to see if they will receive criminal charges. Reporting live in front of Jefferson County Courthouse, Glory Walker, 12 News.